Good morning, good morning. Welcome to 4 by 8 Paper Stuff. I'm still under the red umbrella, so there is a red hinge tinge to everything. And I think I moved my camera a little bit, so hopefully I'm a little bit better in frame. Does not look like it so far. This is a piece of book paper that I painted white. From, it's just from a, an altered book and painted it white and then put yellow watercolor over the top of it with some tinges of brown and blue and green. And this, even though it's under the red umbrella, is beautiful paper. And we're in the Yangtze River, which is kind of a yellowish brown water a lot of the time. And he talks to Michael, this is Michael Palin's journey, a first full circle, which he did in 1997. And since we can't go anywhere, I'm doing his, using his book as a travel book and making a travel journal because I really like his videos and his travel style. Um, gets in touch with a lot of people. I do not have that much of a tan. My hands look super tan. Um, this is another little squidget of paper that I um, painted and it's just purples and yellows also. And it all kind of meshes together and it kind of reminds me of the Three Gorges Dam area, which is where he is today. And I wrote in three different places to master the Three Gorges Dam. One, I wrote the Yangtze River, the longest river behind the Nile and the Amazon. And this is his writing. Construction was from 1993 to 2009, sending one and a half million people elsewhere. And a panorama of traditional cultivation patterns, terraced valleys winding back into the mountains, hamlets of whitewashed stone cottages with wide roofs dotted along sandy bays soon to be gone. That is very poetic for a very sad situation that happened on the Yangtze River in the Three Gorges Dam area. And I actually end up cutting up a book that I got with an ephemera pack that has a bunch of brown uh, craft paper like drawings of plants. This book, Rosie Posey, and I don't know where it came from, but it came off of something, off of Etsy. Um, but it's got a lot of neat ephemera in it. And I was going to cut out a three from that typeset of three, but I changed my mind. So this is the craft paper right here. I go back to it um, and cut out some of the flowers and put that in there too, because a lot of plants were misplaced as well as people and uh, landscape and everything changed huge reservoirs where there were no reservoirs and things like that um and progress i know i know progress has to happen and i guess michael palin realizes that too and but it's just china is so industrialized and so On the move everything is always on the move even the water even the landscape that the water used to be in or will be in again uh, I'm not saying it nearly as poetic as he did but I really like this page tomorrow I will not be under the red umbrella and I'll be back to a regular in my little art space place but I'm really loving this journal so far tomorrow I think I might do a flip through just because I really like how the aesthetic looks overall. Sometimes I say, you know, that each page is not always your favorite, but overall, the aesthetic really comes together. And I'm really loving this. Really loving this. And when I get to travel, this will be how I travel and document my journals and traveling. So I'm going to just let this play through the rest of the day. Um, I had probably like two and a half hours under my red umbrella on Saturday and used all of that time to make these two videos, yesterday's and today's. Um, and here I'm just writing what I wrote, what I already said to you. But I really like Michael Palin's style of writing, but kind of got really melancholy in this part. In the Korea part and in this part. So he's usually pretty upbeat, but here he was kind of melancholy. 
So, thanks for watching. Welcome to the new subscribers. Um, and as I always try to remind people every once in a while, I'm in it for the community, not for subscribers and not for teaching or selling anything. I just love doing this. I meditate with paper. And this is my form of meditation. So, also, the making of the videos is a meditative exercise for me every day. I try to do it every day. I don't promise to do it every day, but I try to. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you all tomorrow. More back in China.